Ladies, gentlemen, and cute little doggies. Yes, hello, Bacon. Uh, today, uh, I want to uh, recommend an urban horror. There are plenty of horror movies that are in the cabin, or out in the countryside, or hiking up a mountain, or whatever's going on. Lots of that kind of stuff. There aren't so many urban horrors. Uh, a great example of which is Candyman, which may well be one of my recommendations later in the month. But today's recommendation is Maniac Cop. There's someone out there. Hey! No one knows his name. No one knows his face. Oh no. But now, the most terrifying man in the city carries a badge. It stars Bruce Campbell, Robert Zadar, and Lorene Landon. It's a fantastic script by the wonderful Larry Cohen. It's directed by the awesome shockmeister Bill Lustig, who now runs Blue Underground, Blu-ray and DVD distribution. Uh, we have covered it on the After Movie Diner. Check out our Maniac Cop 100 episode special, in which we interviewed Robert Davy from part two and three, and we talked to Bill Lustig, and we hosted a screening of Maniac Cop 2 at the uh, Landmark in uh, Sunshine Cinema in New York. We're big fans of the whole Maniac Cop trilogy. Uh, I think they're awesome. Uh, Larry Cohen, Bill Lustig, and James Flickenhouse, who produced the film and in fact the trilogy, are three, uh, along with sort of Frank Henenlotter, are three of my favorite New York filmmakers. Uh, everyone, when they think of New York, they think of Martin Scorsese or Woody Allen or someone like that, maybe Abel Ferrara, someone like that. But for me, uh, I love my Larry Cohen, my Bill Lustig, and my Jim Glickenhaus. That's my bag, and Maniac Cop uh, satisfies all those things. Larry Cohen is great at writing the concept film, so the concept of this movie is the one guy you should run to to help you, i.e. the policeman, is in fact the one that's going to kill you, which is sort of apt for a certain section of our population at the moment, sadly, very sadly. And Bill Lustig shoots uh, New York and L.A. as well, part of L.A., uh, substitute for New York, but shoots it exceptionally well. Uh, they also did a lot of filming in New Jersey. Um, but he does just like that night shoot gritty New York stuff. Uh, it's one of those weird movies because at the beginning you think, well, this is a Tom Atkins movie. And then the second half of the movie is actually a Bruce Campbell movie. Uh, but you've also got Shaft in there, Richard Roundtree shows up. There's some great shooting during the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which was sort of caught on the hoof, uh, and also features Sam Raimi as a news broadcaster. If you haven't seen Maniac Cop, uh, it is one of the few urban horrors or, and, and urban slashes. There are uh, plenty of sort of uh, urban thrillers and, and uh, urban exploitation movies, street trash, stuff like that, but Maniac Cop is one of the very, very, very few urban slashes that don't take place in either small town America or rural America. And for that, uh, it's fascinating. Uh, it's also got an awesome cast and a great concept. Uh, what if Dirty Harry was really bad and a zombie? Uh, that's kind of the concept. So anyway, uh, that's my recommendation for today. Enjoy. Oh, uh, and also check out uh, the After Movie Diner 100th um, Maniac Cop special on the website aftermoviediner.com.